welcome back to a slightly shorter Octane's Oracle today where now that review season or reveal season as I should call it is starting to come down it's time for me to continue my waffle about the 2022 sets uh, by pointing out a couple of like small things. Now I'm going to lead with our main story for today and that is the world of purest Lego Zelda customs is about to be reinvented to a whole new level particularly with legs. We're going to be talking about the um, Series 22 um, orthonologist, the woman, the lady with the toucan. Pretty boring figure, to be honest. Not really a fan of the figure as a whole. Really love the toucan piece. But we're here to talk about her legs. <laughs> Such a strange sentence. Um, Jewel-molded legs, brown boots at the bottom. I think it's tan or is it dark tan at the top? Either way, perfect. With a belt buckle print and like lacing on the front of the boots. These are Link's legs. 100%. These are the best purest link legs you could ever have for classic or for a Breath of the Wild. Either way, works amazing. Like genuinely, so so cool to see. Um, because they look they look just like it. It, it works so perfectly. Um, because previously we had the jewel molded legs that appeared on in the medieval blacksmith on the the lady in that set, and then also on the dinosaur fossil expert from the dinosaur fossils idea set. So these were jewel-molded legs with uh, tan at the top and dark, um, medium brown at the bottom, uh, reddish brown even. Uh, but these here have the printing, and it's boot printing, and it's a belt printing on the belt, and it's really, really exciting because it doesn't look extra modern as well. Like it could very much work for, um, like Link's Hylian trousers from Breath of the Wild, or like his trousers with, um, what are they called? With, uh, with like the boots, uh, the long trousers underneath, like his green torso from all the classic sets, right? I really want to know if it were, if it was dark tan or tan. I'm pretty sure it was dark tan, meaning it's even better because that's more accurate to 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 to, to link really, and that's all that really matters is we're looking for the most accurate purest pieces. So I think I'm I'm happy with my link now. Like once I get those right, um, those those legs, and then compare it with um my green torso, and then the the flesh toned ears particularly as well for. How do I describe it? The flesh tone is from the Friendly 2022 calendar, um, 2020 advent calendar even, the one with the big mini elves. It's literally the perfect link now. Um, anyway, you, you can sort of tell I'm excited there. Um, I'm not going to go any more into the ears, but we have a couple more pieces which I spotted in the 2022 sets which I think are worth uh, bringing up. Uh, more specifically, in the city sets this year, we've had double doors, and I hinted at this last time because I thought it was relevant, but uh, double doors so cool to see. Uh, finally, Double Doors are one of those things that I've wanted for quite a while now, like a really long time since like back in maybe Brick Bank days, I guess, like 2016 maybe? But having a Double Door without a frame in the middle, and these might be actually not be new, I genuinely don't know if this is just the 6x6 six six frame and I've just been ignoring it, but this is the first time I've seen it um, with transparent doors, perfect for hospitals because they always slam through the Double Doors, really excited about that. And quite often, grand buildings, you do want double doors without the frame in the middle. But having the frame in the middle means they don't open right, and it and it, it's bad. But they're very exciting to me. I really hope you can open them inwards so you can do like dramatic entrances. So good. I want to see them. Oh, I suppose you don't need to. It's the frame that's really important, isn't it? It's the doors appear in whatever colours you want. So you can do dark brown doors or medium brown doors for like um, double fancy stuff. But it's so good that we don't have the frame in the middle. It adds even bigger, makes wheelchair access easier and stuff, which is just so cool. Really, really cool to see. Really pleased with double doors. Um, egg splats. <laughs> uh, egg splats. I uh, cannot express how cool they are. Um, I saw that set leak like the morning before all the reveals, and I was just so like, it, it's one of those moments where you're like, I didn't expect this, but it's amazing. I love it, and you just sort of catch yourself chuckling, and it's 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 perfect. It's like the most unpredictable but perfect thing for City. They egged the police truck, and the egg piece itself looks amazing. Like it's a round tile with splats on the edge. We can use it to represent broken eggs in pans. It's going to be great. I think I'm going to end up changing a video idea I had um, relating to food accessory packs um, now to in to include this new egg piece because it's an egg broken in a frying pan. It's just a shame it's bigger than the frying pan. But I really love the idea of it being like an egg splat that is so good. It's it's funny. It gives the criminals so much personality. Really, really love that. Uh, but anyway, I, I said this was going to be a shorter Octane's Oracle, and I've already gushed on the city sets for 30 minutes, so um, let's not do that again. New colour of emergency vehicles. I promise this is the almost last city thing I'm going to bring up. Really love the highlighter yellow on emergency vehicles, specifically the, the medical stuff. I think it looks really great on the paramedics and the paramedics' vehicles. Less so on the fire and police, but I think in certain scenarios, particularly with the police, it works much better than you'd expect. 
and I think the Fire Brigade set does it really well as well. It's all about that moderation. It's not a piece you can have a lot of, but I think it's the perfect like use of City's mold budget this year. Like that's a great. They did the road plates last year, inventing a new color because no shot. This wasn't developed for City. They, this is very clearly an upgrade on like the light yellow accents we had last year, and I quite liked the light yellow accents. I thought they were quite fun. Um, it was a nice like color contrast between the heavy blues and reds, and then the the um the light yellow. But this works much better. This is so much more accurate, like, and it works. It's almost its own play feature, like, right? It's almost like the stripes on there. It's so good, so good. Really, really co clever. Um, I like the highlights of yellow. Just hope it stayed in moderate uh, quantities. I don't want them to waste a load of budget on, like, bringing all the parts in the world over. It's one of those small niche colours, like a chrome gold, almost, um, in my head. But um, I like where it's been used so far, and I think it's definitely going to earn its place in the, the colour ranks. So I'm um, really, really excited about that. The flat chest from the revealed um, Harry Potter set. I didn't notice this one until I watched someone else's video. Um, but the fact that we're getting a chest with a flat top, super cool. Um, I wanted to bring it up because, again, it's, it's a Zelda piece, basically. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that it's predicting that, that Zelda's coming, but it looks so much like the, um, the round wooden chests from Breath of the Wild that if they didn't use these in a Breath of the Wild set, I'd be disappointed if they used the round ones. Now, my custom sets, I often use them in gold, like more of the classic games, so it really doesn't work for the classic games, but it does look like the Breath of the Wild brown chest. I'm very, very excited about like the possible uses for a flat chest, because the chest is sometimes just too tall. Although, admittedly, being taller gives it a bit more stuff inside, but that's all I really wanted to mention with it. I, I like the idea of it being flat. It reminds me of the Breath of the Wild chest, it reminds me of the Great Sea um, treasure chests like that pop up from under the sea in like the wrong colour. I mean, it should be darkish grey, but whatever. Um, Maybe it could have been more compact, but if they were going to use the normal chest and this chest in a combination for Zelda sets, I'd be happy. It's been so long since we've had a new chest mold, I'm, I'm just sort of happy that it exists. Also from the Hogwarts set, the lock. I'm finally excited for someone to actually review one of these locking sets. I really want to know how the lock works. Like, what is it? How do I implement it? Can it be shrunk? Basically, I'm excited to see if this thing finally unlocks the possibilities of having, like, lockable doors for my dungeon custom set. So, like, you actually have to find the key to open the lock on the door. And I realised I could brick build that or something, but how does it work? I'm just really, really curious on how it works. And then finally today, something I only just picked up this morning when I was taking a look at, um, at the Florida-inspired space sets, which is what I'm calling them because they've got palm trees and stuff. And inside the moon rocks, and, and the thing they're investigating is this lovely, lovely, lovely one-by-one -one round print of like cells dividing on it and it's i think it's supposed to be like um future uh, like otherworldly life or maybe they're trying to grow plants on foreign planets or yeah i think it's supposed to be extraterrestrial but um I, this is so cute i love the fact that they've gone the biology route because previously they've done the crystals they've done the the exploration they've done the aliens they've done they've done pretty much everything but personally i think it's a really nice twist that instead of moon rocks we're going for um for uh Cells are just great, and that, that's what's in the boulder. That is, uh, as biology, just perfect. Love that. It's just really nice to see. Um, I'm, I'm just pleased that that is what we're seeing. Uh, I, I like that. So I'm um, really pleased that we're seeing that, that print appear, even though it's not something I'd ever expect. They, they've just subverted my expectations. They, they've done really, really well. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with the, the winter wave here. And um, I'm working on that comparison video for um, comparing the last two Januaries, and um. I'm really hoping that it is a big difference. We might even do it as a Monday video, but it may become an Octane's Oracle just if it's going to be um, waffly. But anyway, that's going to do it today. Let me know your favourite, like, small thing that you think. So not your favourite set, uh, your favourite concept or piece or, like, use of something that you've noticed in the sets um, for January. I know it's a bit of a weird question, but I'd like to see what you guys think of this wave. I've spent quite a while gushing about it, and I promise it's coming to the end. Uh, just a couple more things to talk about. I mean, no more for the rest of this year. Um, maybe a video on the modular building if you haven't seen that already. I, d I don't know when it's releasing. I'm, I'm recording this the day after the city sets came out and I've taken a look at them. But um, I've got some analysis to do on 2021, some comparison to do with 2022, and um, obviously the big video for next year. So you don't get fed up with me talking about them. I just think there's a lot to like here, um, or else I wouldn't have made this many videos. And let's drag out the Octane's Oracle content. So consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Stay around for all the Allegro Legend of Zelda custom set showcase, as hopefully we will set official sets in the summer wave. I have my fingers crossed. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.